Bandita electrónica, estamos con Steve Aoki, que bueno, tuvo un show espectacular ayer. And how you doing, Steve? How how did, did last night go? Um, it was great. I, I think it was sold out. Um, I love coming to Mexico City. I want to do a big show, like a really big one next time. How did you start on the DJ business and want to become a musician at what age? I don't know. Um, well, I've been in um, recording in live bands, live music since I was 16. And so, you know, I, I, like when I was a teenager, I was into punk and hardcore. And then I grew out of that, I guess, if you want to say that, um, at like about 21, 22. And by then I was doing Dimuck Records my record label, we're putting out rock bands like uh, Block Party, um, we put out The Gossip, The Kills, and later um, we started putting out dance music. And at that moment when you decided to, to be a producer and to be a DJ, do you have any special inspiration like another DJ said? Um, well, when I first started producing, it was entirely remixes. So I was, I was producing remixes from bands that I knew. So, like my first, my first production would be was a, a remix for Block Party, and that was on my label. So I could I could do that. I you know it's hard to actually get the stems from bands, but um, yeah, I mean after maybe three or four years, I started producing original material, and um, and I'm releasing my my debut solo uh, artist album this year. So. It's been a long time coming. I've been working on it for like two or three years, and uh, I have features from like Will I Am, Kid Cudi, um, Little John, Chitty Bang, uh, Rivers Cuomo from Weezer, CS Love Fox from CSS, Black Star, LMFAO, Sky Ferreira, lo lots of different artists. <laughs> So talking about the collaborations, uh, tell us how the the one with Armand Van Helden come to. That record is um, something that Armand and I did last year. We wrote that record almost two years ago, and um, we were we were trying to do another session to do maybe another record, and then we were like, ah, let's just put out Brett. We're, we're just gonna put out this record. So. It's kind of a timeless record because it's we're it's a throwback. We're we're like taking the rave sound from you know from 15 years ago and bringing it back to now and and like you know touching it up and turning it into like kind of a monster of a track and it, um, it was uh, it was great to work with Armand. And the new collaboration with Sydney Samson. How does this happen? Um, Sydney and I, we um, worked together in my studio um, this year. Actually, I know the date. It was March 25th. Sydney, myself, and the Bloody Beat Roots at the Palladium in Los Angeles. And then I had to leave the next day at like 2 o'clock. So I talked to Sydney. I was like, if you can get to my house by 8 a.m., we can work for three hours and do a morning session. So he, he got to my house at 8 a.m. And, um, and we knocked out a tune in like two, two hours. That, which wake up. So talking about DMAC Records, uh, how do you mm, know where, uh, as a man of a vision, uh, to, to see the talent on a new DJ or a new artist to sign them? Um, well, there's a, a lot of different um, reasons. Um, when it comes to signing artists for singles, like if I want to just release, release one single, then it's, it's all about the song. It's, it, it could be an unknown artist from an unknown city and, and he just writes or, he sh or she writes a really sick song then the song is what really matters. How 
how the, 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 the idea of making clothes and purses and sunglasses and everything you do and where can the people can find your stuff? Uh, well, yeah, I guess first of all, the website's dimmockcollection.com and, um, you know, we are mainly a t-shirt and, and sweatshirts line and we're expanding into a uh, full range. Um, we started off being a t-line and um, that's, you know, that's kind of where our heart is. Uh, but after, you know, we have a small team, but we, we got about 95 stores around the world carrying our stuff. So because of that, we started expanding the range, talking with different uh, factories, and we're going to expand into a full, full range this, at the end of the year. How can you describe a Steve Aoki set? Um, <laughs> well, if I was to break it down, it's I'd say I, I play a lot of my own material, a lot of my own music, um, a lot of unreleased music as well for the kids that are coming to hear the new stuff. You know, I give them the familiar tracks that they know uh, by me, and then I, I want to play the new stuff. I want them to I want them to be excited about the future. And um, like last night, I dropped uh, No Beef, the track I did with Afrojack, Turbulence, uh, Misfits, the track I did with Travis Barker, um, you know, some other tracks from my album, some new tracks from Dimmock that are coming out that aren't out yet. And um, I want to drop those. I want to keep them, you know, um, in touch with what we're doing, you know, so they can hear it first themselves. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Steve, and have a great trip. <laughs> y bueno, nosotros continuamos con mucho más aquí en Electronic Meeting Point. What's up? This is Steve Aoki and I'm in Mexico City with Empo TV.